Scientists have developed a serum that brings people back from the dead. To test if the serum really works, they brought a dead dog to the lab. Then the serum was injected into the dog's body. Audrey removed all metal objects from his body. With the man's permission, Audrey immediately pushed the switch. A powerful electric current instantly swept through the dog's body. But he didn't come back to life as everyone expected. So the scientists decided to increase the current. However, after several tests, the dog was still lying on the bed without moving. Everyone seemed to have lost their breath. But then the scientist in charge of recording noticed that the dog's ears seemed to move a little. But everyone agreed that it was just a hallucination. But just as the disappointed crowd decided to terminate the experiment, the dog suddenly came to his senses. The data on the monitor also returned to normal. But what was even more unbelievable was that all the illnesses that the dog had suffered before he died were somehow cured. This is undoubtedly a major discovery. It's like solving all the world's disease problems. If this serum is mass-produced, then all mankind will no longer be plagued by death. What the scientists don't know is that the dog they tried so hard to save isn't the same dog as before. Why do you say that? Because ever since he came back to life, he hasn't been the same dog. When he saw the little ball that all dogs go crazy for, he didn't react and even gave Audrey a sympathetic retarded look. And he loses interest in all dog food, and instead becomes obsessed with human food. What's even more frightening is that the resurrected dog seems to be hostile to everyone. The scientists were puzzled, so they immediately examined the dog in all aspects, and they found the problem. The scientists found that the resurrected dog's brain had become unusually active. This led to the development of extreme aggression and a short temper. This discovery was a wake-up call for the scientists. It seems that the serum has many side effects. Just when the people were thinking about how to make the serum even better, a group of strangers broke into their lab and started moving things around without saying a word. If there really is a drug that brings the dead back to life, do you think he has a chance of getting it mass-produced? The scientists in front of us invented it. The scientists were about to celebrate. The company executive sold the project to another pharmaceutical company. The scientists couldn't bear the thought of giving away the one thing that would save the world. But what made them even more devastated was that the pharmaceutical company had no intention of mass-producing the drug at all, but simply to buy it back and keep it in their hands. As for why, we all know why. There's always a consequence for breaking the rules. But the scientists weren't going to stop there. After all, the drug has unknown side effects. In order to continue their research, they sneak back into the lab. Then they took the dead dog out of the refrigerator again. They were going to bring the dog back to life and take it away unnoticed for further research. But then an accident happened. Aubrey, who was in charge of pushing the switch, was electrocuted and died. The people immediately tried to rescue him, but the miracle didn't happen. Audrey's son death left the whole team in deep remorse, and the one who suffered the most was Audrey's boyfriend. Suddenly, he noticed burn marks on Audrey's hand. It turned out to be the ring that had mercilessly taken Audrey's young life. The boyfriend couldn't accept this reality, so he put Audrey on a lab table. Everyone guessed what he was up to, but they didn't agree with it. Because random human experimentation is not something that can be solved with a few days in jail. But the boyfriend had already made up his mind to revive Audrey. The crowd was so sad to see him. Plus everyone's hearts were actually looking forward to a human experiment. So they still returned to their positions. But with the electric current running through Audrey's body one at a time. But the crowd did not see the expected resurrection of the dead. At that moment, Jeff realized that the security guard downstairs had disappeared. They turned off the lights and hid in the dark. After the security guards left, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. At that moment, Audrey sat her day up from the lab bench. The boyfriend immediately went forward and lifted the curtain. He was so happy to see Audrey in a dazed state. But is the woman who came back to life really the same Audrey? The woman was electrocuted in an accident. In order to bring her back to life, he injected her with a drug to bring her back to life. But the revived woman seems to be a different person. Through examination, Jeff found that her brain had become particularly active. How active? A normal person's brain only uses about 10% of its capacity. But the woman's brain was almost at full capacity. But there was no telling what the consequences would be. At that moment, the woman also realized the difference in her body. She realized that she could now control objects with her mind. And a lot of noise began to appear in the woman's ears. When she tried to calm down, she realized that the noise was the thoughts of everyone around her. What was even more frightening was that the woman felt that there was another spirit inside her. 
and that this spirit was constantly suppressing her. So the woman told her boyfriend about it, but he dismissed it as a hallucination. After giving her a shot of sedative, he left the woman's room, unbeknownst to him. The man had already lost his last chance. In a few moments, everyone here will be dead, because the other soul in the woman's body has completely taken over her body. The first to suffer is Jeff, from the court fee. Jeff was put into the locker by a mysterious force. Then the woman came out from the side. As she stared at him, the cabinet began to twist and turn. In no time, Jeff was reduced to a puddle of blood, and the woman smiled in satisfaction. The crowd soon realized that Jeff had disappeared, but the woman acted as if nothing had happened, until the boys decided to split up and look for him. Only then did the woman reveal her true colors and confess that the next one to disappear would be the long-haired girl. Suddenly her boyfriend walks in, and the woman switches back to her innocent expression. But the long-haired girl couldn't pretend that nothing had happened. She asked the woman where she hit Jeff. The boyfriend chose to believe the woman when she suddenly broke down. But Sayed, next to him, thinks differently. Because injecting drugs can change your personality, it's a well-known side effect. So there's a good chance that the woman will do something to hurt everyone. Suddenly the electric baton flew into Sayed's throat. Sayed immediately lost the ability to breathe. Seeing this, the woman winked at him provocatively. Now Sayed understood everything, but he couldn't say a word because of the foreign object in his throat. The man and the long-haired girl were as anxious as ants on a hot plate. But even though they managed to rescue him in time, but they couldn't save Sayed. Looking at the woman beside him with a teasing face, the man finally realized that the guy in front of him was not his girlfriend at all. So the man immediately pulled the long-haired girl to hide outside. Then he took out a bottle of tranquilizer. He decided to anesthetize the woman himself and then dispose of her. But how was he going to get to the woman? The man already had a plan. He found the woman in the hallway and lied that he had accepted her change. But then the woman suddenly appeared next to him and was very embarrassed to find the anesthetic in his hand. In order not to arouse suspicion, the man puts the anesthetic on the floor. Anyway, as long as the woman can't trust him, there are still plenty of chances to anesthetize her. But the man forgot a very important point that the woman has the ability to read her mind. So without any surprise, he was crushed to death by the woman. Now only the long-haired girl is left. She had lost all hope of survival. But suddenly, a group of firefighters broke into the lab. The long-haired girl was so excited to see her savior. She was waiting to die. But then she realized something was wrong. It turns out that the firemen and so on are all illusions created by women. The people who participated in the drug development were all dead. In fact, when they decided to pull the woman back from hell, they had already predestined this tragic end. They were naive enough to think that coming back from the dead was a gift from God. But they didn't realize it could also be the devil's temptation. When you ask for something to come back to life, you never know how it might come back to you. This is the movie, David Jelb, directed by David Jelb. It's not much of a movie, it's even a little rough. A dog that was successfully tested and changed the history of mankind is casually led home. Led home. This movie is in the same vein as many technological disaster movies. Uh, e. The idea that mankind cannot play God and do something out of the ordinary, such as bringing the dead back to life, or else it won't end well. Since there is nothing new in the idea, we have to work on the storytelling. The movie doesn't disclose who the mole inside the lab is, so I'm guessing it's either the heroine or the dog that was the first to be brought back to life. 